Hey guys, Lou from Country Club Comics here with another comic spotlight. Stay tuned. So, what's the saddest moment in comic history? Is it the death of Uncle Ben? Gwen Stacy? Jason Todd getting beaten to death by the Joker? Barbara Gordon's paralysis? The death of Superman? Doesn't really die, right? Or Alex DeWitt? Now that's a story that's pretty rough. Ooh, that's harsh. You don't bounce back from that right away. Thanks, Jess. No, I'm a writer. I know dialogue, and that's particularly harsh. Maybe. We all have our opinions, but no one ever talks about Commandy number 14. I know what you're probably saying. Commandy? Commandy? Yes, Commandy. Before we get to that, who's Commandy? Well, um, I'm sure you guys have heard of this DC series. This is uh, Jack Kirby. It's it's pure Kirby. If you ever if you never read this series, pick it up. It's pretty cool. Um, Commandy is a human in this post-apocalyptic world. Um, I like that we don't know what caused the apocalypse, but we just accept that it's happened. It's called the Great Disaster. And it's destroyed most of the human race, all of human technology, etc. Okay. Before the disaster, though, for some reason, humans were working on a drug that would actually uh, give animals intelligence. And right before this disaster, this chemical just so happens to get released into the water supply and intelligent animals now rule the world. Similar to Planet of the Apes, but this chemical affected all types of animals from gophers to orcas, giving them speech as well. I'm oversimplifying this, uh, this, this, this really great Jack Kirby series, but a commandy summary is not the point today. Today we're all about Click Clack. And I know what you're saying. Who the hell is Click Clack? Well, Click Clack is introduced to us in Commandy number 11, and he is a giant, semi-intelligent green cricket who becomes very loyal to Commandy during his four-issue arc. Commandy bonds with Click Clack quickly over the next few few issues. Say that say that fast. Click ca- Click Clack quickly. Click Clack quickly. That's not easy. Um, and and ultimately, he just wants to be free with Click Clack. You can think of Click Clack as a big dog. Okay, he just wants to be go roam free, get out of this this prison that he's in. Um, and just be with his dog, okay, this giant grasshopper. He tries to leave in issue 13, but is told he cannot leave and must race to the death with another character, Bull Bantam. You're going to hate Bull at the end of this. So it's like this gladiator arena type deal, okay? During the race, Commandy's riding Click Clack. Bull Bantam is riding his buffalo. I think it's a buffalo. They race and they both collide. The Buffalo and Click Clack causes Click Clack to become terribly wounded. Despite that, he gets up again to help Commandy win. Bull then sends a grenade after Commandy and Click Clack, knocking them both to the ground. Click Clack is not getting up again. This is an absolute killer. Bull sends his Buffalo after Commandy, but Commandy distracts and blinds him, sending him crashing to the ground. And then Commandy goes after Bull. Commandy and Bull finish the race in a fist fight scene in the arena, and Commandy ultimately gets the better of Bull and starts pounding him mercilessly. And even though we can finish him off, he doesn't. And he's declared the winner. He turns to find Click Clack in a great deal of pain and yells for help. But the leopard guards tell him it's too late. One of them takes a rifle and is about to put Click Clack out of his misery. But Commandy stops them and says he'll do it. <sighs> and in true old Yeller and Lenny and George style, he has to shoot his friend. I can't describe what this did to me as a child. When I first read this, it traumatized me because I really felt that Click Clack was a true friend for Commandy. In a world where he had nobody, he was alone. He was originally with his his grandfather, his grandfather dies, I think, the first issue. So he was really alone in this, in this world of very intelligent and sometimes sadistic animals. 
Um, and here's this loyal dog that basically gave his life to protect his owner and in a matter of four issues is snuffed out in a tragic, horrific way. As a comic lover, this hurt. As an animal lover, this destroyed me. So, to me, this is the most tragic event in comics. Not to take anything away from what other people think and all the human tragedies that have occurred, but that is what really got to me the most, more than, more than Gwen Stacy and all the other ones I mentioned. And that's this week's Comic Spotlight. So when you get a chance, check it out. It's a four-issue arc. It's 11 to 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. It's, it's very sad. It's, and you, you'll get to love Click Clack in those four issues, and it will hurt you when he actually um, has to be put down in the last one. So please, do me a favor. Subscribe, like, and comment. Another Comic Spotlight on the way next week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.